Hi, welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy and we welcome you. Um, this your first time? Welcome. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. And welcome back. And thank you for hanging with us again. Today we are just hanging as you can see. Um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and just everybody who's watching. Thank you. I hope you enjoy my video. Um, as you can see, I have baby Hannah here. Um, I'm going to do the devotional first, though, and then I'm going to explain what Hannah and I are going to be doing on this Tiny Reborn Tuesday, hosted by Mel from Mel Amori's Mercery. So, I would like to do the devotional first. Okay, and we are in my bedroom, as you can see, guys, because, well, this is the best light. Today is a very gloomy day. It is very cold, and we're supposed to have snow today. As a matter of fact, I was just watching the news and they said that it's on its way. <laughs> it started already out west, out west of us and so it'll be here shortly. But we're only supposed to get like a rain snow mix. It's not actually supposed to go on the roads or anything, so we'll see. Um, but our PennDOT trucks here in York County have already been out. They haven't pre-treated, but they've already been out. So, um, but it's it's about 115, 112, something like that. I, I I got a late start today, guys. I'm just I was tired after yesterday. I'm not used to going out during the day, so I kind of sort of just relaxed a little bit. Um. So this morning because of it. So, but here is the devotional for the day. It's God and love. God's love always succeeds. Follow the way of love, 1 Corinthians 14, 1. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus abandoned his own will and submitted to the Father's will, he placed his faith in the one whose love always wins. Days later, the resurrection validated Jesus' faith in the Father's undefeatable love. The truth is, God's love is unstoppable. It always succeeds, and it always gets the final word. The Apostle Paul described it from the other direction saying love never fails first corinthians 13 8 that was actually a verse read at my wedding um we had first corinthians 13 read at my wedding um that is so true love does never fail true love never fails when our love faithfully rests in the father's undefeatable love our capacity to know and then to e express the win-win nature of God's love is enlarged. What this means is that guided by the Holy Spirit, we intentionally keep right on loving others as long as life lasts. Hebrews 6.11 The LB version God's love is throwing, flowing through us and will never fail. We may not see the final outcome. Our sight may even suggest our love was wasted. But we live by faith in the one whose love always succeeds. You know, that is so true. Um, I, I, I know in my own life, you know, I have two sisters that I love, but I don't know if they love me back or if I'm ever going to see their love back. Um, I, I, you know, I've seen time and time again with just, you know, in churches in general, you know, they say they love you, but then you don't really see it back. Um, you don't see it. But with God's love, you see it. You might not see it, see it, but you see it. That's hard to explain. Um, you can s just look at your life. Just look at daily things. You can see God's love all around us. Um, even today <laughs> when it's gloomy and it's getting ready to do the thing that I hate the most snow I do not like snow I despise snow I always say that it is better to watch snow from your living room window than to have to be out in it which 
I am very blessed in the fact that I don't have to be out in it, guys. Um, and it is very cold here today. As you will see by Hannah's outfit, it is very cold. Um, but we just, you know, we have to look at God's love as it, it's unconditional. And it's undefeatable. Nothing can win against God's love. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing can defeat God's love for you. I, sometimes we feel like, you know, God, you don't love me. And, I mean, look at the circumstances. You know, you don't love me. Yet, he's loving you through that. And he, he wants you to know that no matter what you're going through, you know, I'm getting ready to celebrate the year anniversary of going through one of the roughest times in my life. I thought being abused was a rough time, and it was. I thought my husband's cancer was a rough time. Then I faced last year. When it looked like I was defeated. When it looked like I was done. God pulled me up. His love. There were times that I felt so defeated. And like, okay, God, this is where I just, I can't go through any more of this. Um, most of you know I'm going to the nursing home with Hannah and Mabel. And we're starting to minister to those in the nursing home. I came to the decision that I wanted to do that. Way back when I was in the nursing home, I saw... A lot of people who felt like God didn't love them anymore and like they were defeated because their family members just didn't come to visit and you know they felt very unloved and I want to show them that God's love never fails no matter where you're at in life um, circumstances and we're back to circumstances you know, back to walking by faith and not by sight. Sometimes you have to walk by faith and not by sight. You know, I thought God had abandoned me when I got to that nursing home. But he hadn't. I was walking by, by faith. You know, I had to learn how to walk by faith. Um, it's, it's, how do I put this? You know, God loves us no matter what, no matter what we're going through. I know way back when I was being told as a child, God doesn't love you. You're a horrible child and God doesn't love horrible children like you. I mean, I now know that was my abusers telling me that trying to put the blame on me rather than themselves. But it still hurt and I still believed it I believed for a long time that God did not love me every time I start to feel that way the Holy Spirit reminds me that Jesus Christ gave his life for me that is the ultimate the ultimate show of love the ultimate gift of love is what Jesus did on the cross. So, you know, he did not want to go to that cross. If Jesus would have had it his way, he wouldn't have. But in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, Father, not my will, but your will be done. And it was the Father's will. Father did not want to turn his back on his son. No parent wants to turn their back on their child. But he did. And that is the ultimate show of love. 
the ultimate show of love for us. So I hope if you're out there today and you don't know Jesus, that you will come to know Jesus as your Savior. Just accept his love. There's nothing like having his loving arms around you. Once you accept Christ, you'll have the Holy Spirit to seal you. And God will say, you are mine. I know we just did that in, I just did that in my lesson this morning. You know, where I am very grateful. And I am thankful that the day I accepted Christ as my Savior, way back when I was a child, he said, you are mine. And I am reserving you for myself. I hope you guys will see that. And I hope you guys know God's love today. Because it knows no bounds. And it knows it is not going to be defeated. No matter how we feel, God's love always wins and always has the victory. So now, let's get to little Miss Hannah. She's been waiting for a while for this, guys. We are doing Hashtag Tiny Reborn Tuesday, hosted by Mel at Mel's Maury's Nursery. So I'd like to thank Mel for this tag. Um, and can I just say it was really good to see that she had a video up today? A new one. So that was nice to see that. I have to watch all of it yet. I haven't had a chance to watch it. I've been really busy today, guys. Really busy. Um, I got up late, just like I said. And of course, today is Tuesday, so today is my dusting day. I haven't done that yet either. But I plan on doing that when I get off of here. Um, giving Mabel her bedtime, her nap time bottle too. I got to give Hannah her nap time bottle and put her down for a nap. And put Miss Mabel down for a nap time. And put and give Mariah something quiet to do so she doesn't disturb her sisters. Because she doesn't like naps anymore. She doesn't like naps. Even though she's just a year old, she doesn't like naps. I don't know why. But that's okay. She sleeps through the night. And she goes to bed very easily for me at night. So that's a good thing. So now I'm going to show you Miss Hannah. And what she is wearing for Tiny Reborn Tuesday. She is wearing. I'm going to get closer here guys. Because I do want to be closer to her. Because I got to give her a bottle anyway. This is Miss Hannah. She is a. Ashton Drake, Linda Murray, Katie Coos and Breeze, Breeze doll. Um, baby, I should say. Because I don't consider my dolls dolls. They're my babies. Anyway, she is here in a Carter's Newborn. This is a fleece Christmas outfit. It's got all the Christmas flowers, as you can see. The poinsettias and the little holly here. and It's really a warm outfit. It's got snaps up here and of course this the pants to go with it as you can see she has on her white Carter socks with it I could have put black on with it but I thought white today but then she has her little headband to match it her red headband with the bow in her hair and then she's got this my first Christmas lovey doll this is I love you doll. I got this at Burlington, but I can't remember what it came with. I think it came with a bunch of bibs. I can't remember. I could be wrong. It could have come with the Winnie the Pooh stuff, too. I can't remember. But this came with something. But I can't remember what it came with now. But she, of course, has her passy. I actually lost this. If you guys can believe this, I actually lost it. It was supposed to be clipped to her, and it did not want to stay clipped to this outfit for some reason. And so, I kind of had problems with it. I actually almost lost this passy clip. And this, this she treasures because this is from her Auntie Tammy over at My Reborn Nursery. Thank you, Auntie Tammy, for the passy clip because it keeps the pacifier on. And so, Hannah is going to take her nap time bottle because as you can see, she's getting a little tired. I have her nap time bottle over here. As you can see what time it is. Our clock is actually running fast. 
Our clock runs 20 minutes fast, guys. That's the only way we get up in time for him to go to work. Um, as you can see, she's up against my Merry Christmas pillow, which you guys will see more in my Christmas, um, my Christmas thing. But I have her nap time bottle here, and of course her bib. I think I'm going to feed her without holding her today. Usually I hold her, but I know Hannah Banana, come here, come with mommy. She's going to come over here and I'm going to feed her really quick. Don't ask how I'm doing this, guys. I have got to get myself a tripod for this. I know I keep saying I'm going to, but I never do. So let me see if I can set this down here and see if you guys can see her if I set her down. If I set it down, if you guys can see her. So anyway, I'm going to pick her up. I'm probably going to hold her, guys, because I want to hold her. I would much rather hold her and feed her than... You guys, you 